Alright, I'm over here. <laughs> At the cat picture house. <gasps> There it is. <laughs> there it is. This thing's going to my office. Let me tell you something, man. I spent all last week negotiating a deal on a cheap ass house. 25, 24 nine is the asking price of the house. So, not a whole lot of money involved, but the time, man. I spent all last week negotiating this deal, going back and forth, and then we finally got it worked out. Hell, I don't even get, I don't even talk to the people over the weekend, man. They, they just ghosted me. I mean, just a professional courtesy would say, hey, man, let me call this dude back. He did spend all week working on this. Jesus Christ, man. It's cool if you don't want it. I don't care. Let me know. Listen, man, didn't shit go right last week? Nothing. The apartment complex fell apart. The one I was just talking about, hell, I worked on it all weekend. I couldn't even get a call back. Raven Road down there, like the contractor, he didn't go down there at all. He didn't turn in his bid sheet at all. So I had to get a whole new contractor, start that whole process over. Normally that wouldn't be a big deal, but with these foreclosures, it is a big deal because if I don't make the 60 day closing date that I set, they're going to cancel the contract. <sighs> I got the lot. People keep putting offers in on the lot, but I'm telling them that they won't take less than the asking price. They just won't, man. I'm sorry. They just won't. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. But hey, if you don't want to buy it, that's fine. But there's no point in putting in offers in it. Well, anyways, a little, little, little frustrated this morning. I'm really frustrated about the house on Lincoln Street. Like I said, I worked on it all last week, negotiating the price, negotiating the price, and then nothing, man. I just get ghosted. It's crazy. Like, why would you waste somebody's time like that? Regardless though, it's gonna be a good week. I can't uh, I can't let that bother me. I'm just gonna have to get in here and keep plugging away. That, that's what it's all about, right? So, uh, if you haven't already, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. My name's Jeff Slick, and this is Slick Sales. Let's get to the video. All right, so let me tell you what happened today. Uh, well, we already know that the, that the uh, uh, apartment complex, no go not interested in making a cash offer. I talked to my client who was interested in that. We're back on the mobile home park. So let's see. But today, man, we saw the house that I almost got shot in when I got in the door and I went inside and I was yelling, da 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 da. Well, guess what? Yeah, they say the guy might have moved out. So we went down there today. Me and my dad went down there today. We went to check it out to see. I don't know, man. It looks like somebody's might be living there. Still, the, the grass is cut. The grass has been cut in the last two weeks or so. Um, couldn't get in. They want us to get in with the locksmith and all that, but again, after what happened last time, we, we just don't feel comfortable doing that. I, I'm not sure if he still lives there. He looks like he, he looks the same way it did last time. Um, we knocked on the doors, we knocked on the windows, but what we're not gonna do is go back inside. So, it's occupied, right? We left that one and then we stopped by Haslam in Piedmont. Um, as you can see, they, they're remodeling the whole thing. They've got the side and tore off of the outside all the way around the house. They're fixing the eaves where it's rotten. New AC unit. The back deck is brand new. Inside, they got the whole thing tore apart. There used to be a fireplace in that one room. They've tore it out. They've tore the entire kitchen out. They've tore the entire base, uh, bathroom out. So still a lot to do, man. You know what I mean? It's just it's gonna be a long process. The third stop we made was at uh, a new listing that we got. They want us to do a bunch of stuff on that. They want it rekeyed. They want some landscaping bids. They want some light rehab bids. Anyway, this thing's dated. It's got a cat picture, the size of America in one of the bedrooms. I don't really want a cat picture, but this cat picture is pretty cool. I, I can't lie, man. I was, I was pretty 
pretty intrigued by it. The back deck is falling off. Uh, again, somebody's been out there recently and cut the grass. I don't know when or what have you, but oh, also all the floor, it's just bucking up. It, all that's gotta be replaced. Maybe not for, for us to do, but for the next person that owns it. All right, so what's up, man? It's Tuesday, so it's gonna be busy. Let me tell you, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna vent for a minute, man. Some of these companies I work for, they send me mundane tasks over and over again. Yesterday, I had a monthly status report, which is basically a small BPO. Not quite as intense, but kind of. You gotta find comps and all that anyways. They have not dropped the price on this thing yet. The problem is, man, I don't wanna keep doing task and task and task and task and task when it's not gonna sell because you won't drop the price. Anyways, so the house on Remington Court, they're gonna do full repairs on that, I'm pretty sure. I have a roof inspection, HVAC, HVAC inspection, power, or electric and uh, plumbing inspection. Gotta get those done. Talk to the contractor that's gonna be here to, to do the work for them and he'll be here today. They're gonna be doing that. Also, the new listing that we went to yesterday, I don't know if they're gonna do repairs, but they wanna bid for repairs. <laughs> I got a lot of repair bids to get together and, and, and get that go. Cause, oh, Cause also at Remington Court, they want a repair bid to make it financeable for FHA and VA. It don't need much, but it needs some things, so. And also, the land, so last night, man, when I got home, somebody called me, they wanted to see it. It's a friend of mine, sent them to me. I'm pretty sure they're gonna make an offer on the land. Probably gonna be a pretty good offer. He also, the person I, that just messaged me, they pulled up while we was out there yesterday. He just, well, I've been talking to him since 5.30 this morning. He wants to make, matter of fact, he just sent me something saying, saying he wanted to make an offer. We'll see what happens. It's, it's probably gonna be a a good day. A busy day, but definitely a good day, man. Oh, yeah, hey, Scooters, listen, man, Rooster or Paco didn't win the dog fluencer thing. I'm a little, I'm a little upset about that, I can't lie. So, you know, make it right. <laughs> I got my monthly status report done on one of the houses. So I gotta do another one on another house. Ugh. Anyways, I got an offer on the piece of land. Somebody called me when I got into there this morning. Random person, happens to be somebody that lives close by. They wanna make an offer, they did make an offer. So now I have that offer signed and I'm going to my seller's house to present that offer. All right, man, it's like two o'clock. Well, right, yeah, two o'clock. So. I, they want to do a full, full repair. Hold on, I'm jumping ahead. Let me start. So I went to talk to my seller earlier. Um, I have another offer that's supposed to be coming in this afternoon. I haven't got it yet. He says he's gonna send it, but what, whatever. I do have that other offer I went and presented to my seller, but we're gonna counter. I hope they take it. I don't know. We'll just have to see. So I'll let y'all know how that plays out. Um, the house we went to yesterday, that new listing, so they want to do a full repair bid. There's some issues that I need to get worked out. Not issues. There's some things I need to get worked out with the company. I've never done anything for this company. One, uh, they're wanting to spend $100,000 on a house. I want to know who's paying for it. And if I'm paying for it, am I getting reimbursed for it? And how quickly am I getting reimbursed? There's a lot of things that, that need to happen before I just say okay to, to doing something like that for a brand new company. Anyways, I gotta get that worked out, but I'm not gonna work on that till in the morning. Right now though, the company with the Remington Court property, the one I did cash for keys on, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out, it's on my YouTube channel. I'm headed up there now, I got Ernie going up there, there's a contractor up there. They're doing full repairs on it, so I'm gonna be responsible for that. I'm not really a contractor, but I feel like it sometimes. That's where I'm headed now. Uh, I don't know exactly what they're going to want to do. I do know the deck is in need of replacing. Uh, Ernie's going to do a, a roof inspection. He's also going to do an electrical inspection. I still got to get an HVAC and a plumbing inspection done. So again, there's just a lot of things. I, they're talking about maybe replacing the carpet. Again, they just want it financeable. So I, I got to see what all that's going to entail. Give them a bid for that stuff and then we just go from there, right? All right, man, I'm out here. It turns out, man, this guy, I was talking to the dad, and 
the daughter who the land is for already had a realtor. <laughs> Go figure. Whatever. A brought rooster, his little ass didn't shut up the entire time. But look at this piece of property. I mean, I, I, I filmed it in the other videos. It's just 39 acres of beautiful, beautiful land. I wish I could buy it. Anyways, so I'm leaving here now, man. Uh, I'm gonna let him handle it. Maybe they're gonna put in an offer. We're just gonna see. Um, and we'll go from there. I mean, hopefully, they make it a season tonight. Okay, let me tell you, it's Wednesday. I got bombarded with mundane tasks this week. Uh, so that sucks. I still got that BPO to do. I'm gonna try, try, try to get it done today. I don't know if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna make it, but I tell you what else I have to do. So Remington Court up there in Jacksonville, I got electrical, plumbing, HVAC, um, and uh, a roof inspection. We did the roof and the electrical yesterday, but I still have to get the plumbing and the HVAC. The HVAC guy's supposed to be going, I'll find out when, today. So there's that. I gotta do all the reports on that to get those tasks turned in and, and get, get that going, get that in motion. Cause they're gonna do full repairs up there. The house on Russell Drive, the new one we just got. So <clears throat> again, it's a new company. I don't mind do they want to do full a light full repair, and that's fine. But I've never dealt with this company. I just want to make sure that we know how everybody's getting paid and this and that. Cause a full light remodel over there is gonna be I don't know 60, 70 grand bare minimum. I think. It, it needs a lot. It needs a, that the back deck needs to be replaced. The floor, all the floors are bucked up. Anyways, so I just need to. I just, we just need an understanding on that. Is is what I want to get to this morning. So I'm gonna message them and see the land. So I have an offer on it. My guy didn't want to go up. Highest and best is gonna be due today at, at noon. So we'll just see what happens. Uh, I do have two very good offers right now either way my seller's gonna win it's just that's just the way it is and that's the market we're in i'm not saying that they're not getting a good deal that piece of property is beautiful but um my seller's getting what he wanted and, and probably a little more that's the goal right oh yeah also next week <laughs> dad dad and everybody's going on vacation so they're going on a cruise so not only will i not be able to talk to him um I barely be able to email will be the only way. So I'm gonna be doing my stuff and his stuff next week. So I'm gonna be super, super busy next week. That's for sure. All right, so I tell ya. <laughs> it's normal when I'm busy that I don't get to leave the office that much. But the good news is the land deal is under contract. I said how much. Uh, can't tell you how much just yet, but I can in the future. But it's under contract. Didn't go above less than this price. I can't say that. Pretty happy with that situation. I'm also really happy that it only took me like 48 hours to get it under contract. Uh, that's pretty pretty good. Considering it's just raw land with nothing on it. Absolutely a beautiful piece of property. Uh, if you haven't seen it, man, there's some pictures in my last video or some video in my last video of it. So uh, make sure you go check that out. Right now, man, I'm fixing to head to the house. I got my BPO done. I got some of those stupid ass report they making me do done. Tomorrow morning I'm going to Birmingham. Got some asset inspections to do over there, so gotta go take care of that. I'm trying to get this mobile home park locked down. I, I wish we could get something worked out, cause, well, if I can get something worked out on that and then the land, like all those things right there would be very nice here, here in the middle part of the year. You know what I'm saying? What's today, Thursday? Oh yeah, new video. New video drops tonight, 8 p.m. Central Time. Oh yeah, look at this. Balling. I'm, I'm just kidding, man. I saw, saw one. <laughs> oh gosh. So let me tell you, today I'm going to Birmingham. I'm pretty sure things might have changed. I'm not, I'm not 100% positive. The reason I say that is because now I know I have a listing appointment at 9 a.m. here in Aniston. It's actually in 
where is it? Oh, it's in uh, Indian Oaks, I think. Anyways, man, that's what uh, that's what's going on today. I got the land. I got a, waiting on the survey to come back on the land. I'm trying to get in touch with my guy on the mobile home park, but he don't he don't seem too uh, <laughs> worried about getting back in touch with me, which is fine. He ain't got to hell. I still got them stupid ass reports and stuff to do. I need to get in touch with a plumber. <laughs> the HVAC guy is supposed to be going out there and giving me something. I don't know, man. I really don't want to do the shit, to be honest with you. I just don't want to do it. Anyways, man, we'll just see what happens out today. At some point, man, I'm going to go get that cat picture. <laughs> I'm going to go get that cat picture and hang it in my office. It's 8 30 ish. I got to go by the bank <laughs> to deposit my stripper money. And then I got that listing appointment. It's not really a listing appointment. Somebody's buying a house, they're going to be remodeling it, and they're going to list it in the future. They want to know kind of what it's worth. So I'm going to go take a few pictures, you know, see what's going on, and uh, I'm going to take y'all with me. Hello? Hey. Hey. Ashton. It's a 1201 Ashton. Is that yours? Yeah. So that's fake for us. Ask him about it. Just ask the seller about it. I'm just going to tell you. I'm not sure that's what it was. Yeah, what, she need the code or something? Uh, I don't know. Is it got a box on it or just a code? It's it got a code. No, you know, a box. Uh, can you text it to me? I don't know. But she'll probably set it up to the thing. She gets the well, code. Well, she'll get the code through the thing. Yeah, that's fine. But text me the code and I'll give it to her. Okay. All right, we just the house is right there, man. I don't know if somebody lives there or not. Anyways, we right there, so we'll pull on up here and see what's up, man. This thing's in rough shape. So yeah, we'll see. That's it right here, I think. Yes. Yeah. Not in the best of shape, I don't think. This place is pretty rough, but this, this right here but takes some cake. <laughs> oh, shit, man. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, homeboy just come let me. I the the spider crickets was about more. I don't know what y'all call them or what they're actually called, but around here we've always called them spider crickets. They said the basement was partially finished. I ain't a damn thing about that thing finished except for the concrete on the floor. <laughs> so, so I don't know. Could you make it into a room? Yeah. You could. Um, it's got the foundation for for a room, but it's not a room right now. And I'm gonna get back to the office. I gotta put these pictures in and all that stuff. And uh, I guess I'm gonna start on them flipping reports, man. Again, I, I still gotta call that plumber and see if I can go by there. And uh, I don't know, man. I'm gonna just try to figure it out. It's like 1:30. Um, so I tell you what's happened since I've been working on them damn reports. I wanted to say a different word right then, but I'm trying to keep it YouTube friendly. I sold this guy, my guy, my client who bought Cross Street. I sold him another house here in Oxford. So I actually sold him three or four houses now. Anyway, man, we ain't had no luck renting it out. We've been trying to rent it out. Uh, I say that, we have rented it out. Uh, he don't want any pets. Uh, the unfortunate thing about that is, I'd say 80% of people these days have a pet so therein lies the problem i mean he's entitled to that but that definitely narrows down our field of, of potential renters so um he started dealing with it he don't want to deal with it no more so he's decided he's going to list the house so i'm going to be listing it today i'm going down there right now i'm going to take some pictures and make my video and and do all those things that i do before i lift the ha list the house and then uh i'll get it 
I'll get everything ready tonight and then tomorrow morning I'll list everything and um, post my video and all that. So, uh, three bedroom, two bath in Oxford, man. Probably gonna ask like 169 for it and just see what happens. Might turn out, might, might be all right. So, we'll see. All right, man. I just got this house. This is that house I was talking about. So, they go, he's gonna list this. I'm, I'm gonna take some pictures. Um, Anyway, it's not a bad house. Um, it's just, shut up. It's just got a hell of a hill here. But that's the house, three bedroom, two baths, been remodeled. Um, again, it's just, it's just, uh, just nobody's renting. He wants 1400 a month, man. And 1400 a month for rent might not seem like that much to some people, but around here, it's a whole bunch, let me tell you. I mean, it's a whole bunch. So. Oh, here's the inside. It's got no carpet. No floor. I don't know, again, I'm not 100% sure why. If it ain't read it, but. It don't really matter at this point because, like I said, we're going to list it. Uh, unfortunately, I have a two o'clock. Now, here's the bugs in here. Here's the kitchen. Shut up. So, yeah, I don't know why I had Randy, but again, it don't matter now because we're going to list this bastard for sale, right? All right, so I got what I needed over here. I got some pictures inside and out. I made my video. I got to edit it still. Um, but again, I'm done here. Um, so I'm going to head back to the office and, and get all this paperwork done that I need to get done so I can get this thing listed and sold, hopefully. All right, so I just actually didn't record anything else. I just got to the house. Um, Anyways, I finished up with that listing. I got the video done. I got the listing. I got all the paperwork signed. So in the morning, I'm going to upload all the videos and get that thing in. Tomorrow's Friday, so hopefully there'll be some, some activity on it. That's the plan anyways. I know I'm a little bit, probably a little bit high, but um, I'm trying to work it out for my seller. So anyways, man, we'll just see what happens. So... Um, yeah, I'll see y'all in the morning. Anyhow, well, good luck on this, and maybe this will be good on this deal too high, ain't it? Uh, 1049 is, yeah, but, I mean, she's already yeah, been by it. She went by it, yeah, I gave her the address yesterday. She went by, and, I, and then she said, we, can we meet up there? Uh, we have questions, so, you know. Okay, uh, all right. I'm going to go right. show it to them, and then, like I said, deal Thank with this, deal with this land situation. Yeah, so you'll get it resolved. It'll resolve itself today. Maybe that guy just, maybe he can't make decisions that he talks to the bank this morning or something. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Well, he'll have till um, about 8, eight o'clock or 7.30 or so. Because I'm going to yeah. call that other guy here. And like I said, it ain't going to be much longer. I'm going to get on get on the phone with him. All right. It's Friday. I thought it was going to be an easy day, but turns out it's not. <laughs> so my land deal, everything was going smooth. I had a cash offer, over list price. Everything was lovely. Unfortunately, the person that was buying it is a uh, prominent business owner here in town. When they, when the sellers found out who was buying it, it just so happened that I think her grandson works for this for this guy. So she went down there and was talking, and inadvertently said that they was had they had problems with the neighbors. But the, the, anyways, <laughs> anyways. So that's what I'm dealing with this morning. I, I just, I love being a, a real estate agent sometimes. Because of that, they are gonna be withdrawing their, their offer. I'm, I'm fixing to call the other agents that made an offer and see if they might be still, still interested. I hope that's the case. I hope we can salvage it. I'm not really worried about the land selling, but again, I mean, it's just a lot of work that goes into this. So, um, 
you know. But right now, man, I'm going up to Miss Annie's. I got a 7.30 a.m. showing um, up there. So that's where I'm headed to right now. Well, here she is. <laughs> Y'all seen this in a million times. It ain't no better. It smells like shit in here. I did a horrible job cleaning this thing out. At least it comes up easy. <laughs> Hello. Right, Harrison. Hey. Jeff Slick, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing well question man so <laughs> so my guy the people that were on that on that 40 or 39 acres they mm -hmm. decided not to move forward okay so do, is your guy you think he's still interested if he'll give me a minute let me call him real quick um i know he works pretty early in the morning let me try to get him on the phone and i'll let you know as soon as i find something out all right thank you sir thank you buddy all right, man, so it's like 1.20 now. I've got to go to Beck Road. I'm gonna put my lock box on. I'm gonna put my sign in the yard. It is listed now, the video's on YouTube. 169.9, it's a nice house, man. Three bedroom, two bath, Oxford School District. But the big news of the day, and what we left off with is, is uh, the lot, the land, the 39 acres of land, so let me tell you, the other agent did finally call me back and they are still in. Went ahead, got all that stuff signed. It's over, it's just closing attorney now. So, um, yeah, crisis averted, man. <laughs> I'm pretty pretty happy about that. Listen, just keep this in mind for future reference. It's never ever a good idea for a seller to talk to a buyer. I don't care what the situation is, it is never a good idea. Whatever you say, no matter how innocent it might be, can be misconstrued. And anyways, that's what happened here. It cost the deal. Luckily, there was a backup deal. Uh, still cost a little bit of money, but not a whole lot. After all said and done, the net's going to be about $800 difference. So, you know, it's okay. So, also, man, I'm going to get the cat picture, man. We're going to end this week with a cat picture. I'm putting that bastard in my office. All right, I'm over here. With the cat picture house. <gasps> there it is. <laughs> there it is. This thing's going to my office. <laughs> Well, I, I tried to put it in the back seat, but fortunately it won't fit. Yeah, so you saw I tried to, tried to put that big bastard in the back seat. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was, actually. It's in the very back. I'm just going to go slow, I guess. Hope for the best. All right, man, it's the end of the day, Friday. If it's to leave the office, I might have to work all weekend. I have more tasks, they sent me more tasks today. So again, dad's leaving next week, man, so it's gonna be busy next week is Labor Day, but I don't have the option of being off. So. And that's okay, man, it's, it's all right, no big deal. One of these days, I won't have to work every day, but right now I do, so um, that's just what it is. Now, let's do a little recap. So, listed the land, sold the land, they backed out, sold it again, we're under contract. What else happened this week? Hell, I don't know. I've been working on them stupid ass tasks all week. I know that. Getting the repairs for Remington Court and this and that. The new listing. Oh man, I, I put my, I, <laughs> I got my cat picture. It's a painting actually. Uh, it was much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. It wasn't fit in the back seat. I had to put it in the, in the bed of the truck. It's in my office now. I have not got it hung up yet. 
but I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, his name is uh, Percy, the Persian Pussycat, and he's gonna be a talking point for my office. <laughs> So that's a that's a good thing. Oh, I got the new listing down in Oxford. I just put the sign and lockbox in on it today. So hopefully we'll get some activity over the weekend. Ain't nobody been blowing the do uh, ringing the phone off the hook to go see it right yet. So uh, you know, fingers crossed. We'll we'll see. If it don't sell, we'll drop the price until it does. Just signed up for Zillow Premier Agent Two today. So we'll see how that pans out. That's gonna do it for this week's video. If you haven't already, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. My name's Jeff Slick. This is Slick Sales. I'll see y'all next week.